Hello, and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley, and my guest today is Oregon State Senator Arnie Roblin. Thank you so much for joining well, us. Well, thank you. It's really great to be here. Your staff has worked tirelessly yeah. to just complete and conclude the fifth annual Oregon Coast Economic Summit. And can you tell us a little bit about what that's like to put on year after year? Yeah, it, it, it is a great event, and, and we do it because... So often, the people who live on the coast feel like everybody forgets about them. They don't really realize that if they need to get a hold of anybody, it's their job to go to Salem or to go to Portland to get heard. And we came to a conclusion five years ago, and with the help of the Mill Casino here and the Coquille Tribe, to try to change that scenario and say, you are important people on the coast, and we're going to bring those people to you. And so we've had five now, so we've moved up the coast and around to the Grand Ronde and back. And... Um, this one was probably as big an event as we've ever had. Uh, over Almost 500, 500 people, people registered. Yes. Um, and agencies and federal delegation and um, legislators. Uh, we had a, uh, one of the past chief judges of the Ninth Circuit Court from California. I mean, it, it is amazing to see that if you can set up an organization and a plan and you have staff that are willing to work day and night to get it to happen, uh, they will come and our local... Um, coastal representatives, the mayors and the city council members and the county commissioners and all of those want to be here and want to have the opportunity to talk to those people on their home ground. And it was really fun to watch that this year, uh, and in large part because of all the work that was done beforehand that people never know that your staff are doing to get it to happen. Oh, well, it's, it was a um, well lube machine. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> well, you get these panels with eight people. That means you've had to have eight contacts to begin with to see if they're willing to do it. And then as the time goes on, are they going to still be there when you really start having the program? And then bring them together to have a little conversation beforehand about what they expect, because most people don't just want to sit up there and account in front of 500 people cold. They want to know what we're going to talk about and how we're going to do it. Hopefully. All of those meetings <laughs> take a long time. Oh, yes. And then each one has had a different theme, and it's grown year That's upon true. year. What's the primary outcome of this year, yeah, this, and how will you take that forward this, to lawmakers? Yeah, this one was one of those things that really built from all of the others we've had. Um, we recognized last year it was education, years before it were different topics. This time it was really collaboration. You know, how do we work together? How, because we've, we, we all know on the coast that if you want to get something done, you have to come together as a group, because if you don't do that, you're never going to get heard, and then you can make things work. And so the whole theme was... How do we set up those new collaborations between coastal communities and with re respect to agencies in the state, our federal delegation and others? How do we get them to all understand the needs that the coast has and the unique differences that we have to have? And how do, you, how do we help them help us solve the problems that we have on the coast? And I'm, I'm really excited. I, I've talked to a lot of the mayors and a lot of the other people who said, you know, for the first time I really got to meet with the, with the agency that I needed to meet with. And, and so the meetings are going on. That helps. And then there's all this collaboration that's going on out in the hallway, you know, because they finally found the person they've been wanting to get a hold of for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they get to sit and talk with them. Uh, the other thing they mentioned over and over again was, you know, when they come down here and they sit up in those panels and they talk to you, they're just real people. Yes. You know, they're, they're just... Mm -hmm just like us. You can and, make a friend. And you can make a friend. And, and that's, then they listen to you. And then the issues that are really important to you, someone takes the time to listen and see if they have an opportunity to help. Uh, we, we've got federal agencies that have come and been very open and clear about the kinds of things they can and cannot do. But that gives them an idea of where to look for that next hand, or that next person to help them um, as they move forward. So. Well, I do think most people are really trying to do their job well, and um, sometimes to every action there's the opposite and equal yes, reaction, reaction, and people aren't always aware. They're trying to do one good thing, and it might have a negative impact someplace else, and these are great opportunities to talk about how that works back and forth. And it's really good for us. You know, you pass a bill, and the unintended consequences may be horrible, and you didn't even hear about them until later. And that's true, exactly what you're saying. You've got... These agencies that are out there doing what they believe is the right thing. They're following the directions that they've been given by the federal government or by the legislature. And they didn't take time to listen to find out, is it really working the way it's supposed to be? These put reality back into that for all of us. So when you're working with those local people, they're the ones at the end of the road that have to produce. Yes, and now you get a chance to deliver. To, mm -hmm. And now you get a chance to talk to them and find out, did we help? Did we hurt? Are there other things we could do to help more? That constant conversation has to happen if you want government to work well. Well, congratulations on an event nicely done, and I wish you the best of luck with your upcoming session. 
Thank you very much. It's really a great time. And thank you for your opportunity to have this time to talk with me. Okay. Thank you. Thank this you. is Oregon Senator Arnie Robland. I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest. Thank you.